This segment brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Hi, my name is Brad Dozier with Dozier's Performance Horses. I'm here at the Extreme Mustang Makeover in Fort Worth, Texas. And it's been a great year here at the stock show. You know, me and little Joe Chex here, AKK Jojo is his barn name. We, uh, we competed here, we did all right. There was a little bit of flukes, a little bit of uh, um, things that happened during the show that kind of take us out of the top 10, but we're gonna go into the sale and see how he sells and we're gonna be uh, doing all right after that. But uh, I'm, I'm from Moran, Kansas. I've been training horses for 10 years now. I work for Tatum Rice in Weatherford, Texas. Turner West also as a two-year-old trainer that worked underneath Tatum at his ranch. All together with Peter DeFridis, Turner West, and Tatum Rice, I have two and a half years working underneath trainers. Um, from then I went to Moran back home, started building my ranch there, and now I'm specialized in reining, cutting, colt starting and also Mustang Makeover. It's a great organization. I love doing it. It's, it's, it's fun to do. It's a great experience for people, young people that want to get started in training. When I start out on my colt starting, I start out with, you know, getting their mindset, getting them calmed down, getting them relaxed, and then I'll start moving into driving them straight. You know, I want these horses to be straight when they finish out. I don't want a whole lot of bend, but yet I want a little bit of bend. Where Jojo, he started out stiff, and then I started working on getting him supple, bending his head left and right. I mean, it's it's been a good experience for him. He turned out really well. When somebody brings me a horse the first time, I will do groundwork for at least two weeks. You know, getting him to move around the round pen, little movement, controlling their feet. There's three things that control a horse's mind. Moving the feet, redirecting, and inhibiting movement, like hobbles. It all depends on the horse's nature, really. I have a minimum of three months. And then after that three months, I evaluate the horse. And if, you know, depending on what type of training it's going towards, if it's going in raining, it needs to stay longer than three months. If it's just cold starting and they're gonna go trail ride or anything on it, yeah, they could take it off and go on. But by like cutting, that horse needs to stay in the training for at least a year. A real broke horse is in a training every day, six days a week, for a year. That's a broke horse. But a true broke horse doesn't get broke till they're six. But if you can just put the time into it and invest the money, you'll come out with a great horse. You can reach me and find me on Facebook at Dozier's Performance Horses. Um, you can also go on Instagram on Dozier's Performance Horses. You can also contact me at 620-778-4947. I would love to talk with you, have more info you want to talk to me about. It'd be great. You can reach out to me. Love to hear from you.